Hey all, Mal here. So, today what I really wanted to do was try and showcase if the Pimax Lite will work in 2024 with my 3080 RTX, which is not the highest, by no means highest GPU. You've got the 40 series out now, the 4080s which are well capable of running the Pimax. I always knew that. Was a bit iffy with the 3080. I did look at a few videos with people streaming before I went out and bought the Pimax to make sure that 3080 could actually run it. It's not going to run it at the highest level. Not a chance because I reckon the Pimax Lite is designed and built for 40 series, 50 series, 60 series, on, onwards, like that. But I'm surprised the 3080 is running it okay. It's not running it at nowhere near the maximum quality it can be at. Like, I'm running it at the lowest level it can be run at. And it's running smooth in the sim. I can see everything clear in the headset. It's not crystal clear like some people get in the 4090s. Or possibly the new ones, the 5090s are probably going to even be better. But it's running okay on a 3080 on my machine, which is an i7-13700 uh, Intel with uh, 96 gigabytes of RAM on it. Which is probably overkill because you don't need 96. I just use it because I do video editing and I find the the better the the higher RAM you have, the better it works. But with the next two flights on this video, it should show you I've had a bit of issues with OBS. I'm trying to demand an awful lot of my computer. I'm trying to run 2024, which is the cloud streaming. I'm trying to run the Pimax <laughs> and I'm trying to run OBS as well, recording all on the same machine, which is, I have to admit, putting the machine under a severe amount of pressure. But having said that, I did manage to get two starter flights. One of them recorded, the next one that'll come up is recorded in 1080p. So we've just done a quick flight around my local airport, Moraban Airport, in the Togs Hangar UE and the second flight will be uh, 1440 which I managed to get that work in a K as well as I say the quality in these videos is in the headset it's higher quality haven't it's hard to explain it in the headset I think because you're sitting closer to the gauges and everything is in VR you're getting I wouldn't say a massively higher quality than what you're seeing on the screen. What you're seeing on the screen with me, I'm not going to lie to you, is probably close enough to what I'm seeing in the headset. With the guys at the 4090s and when the new 50 series comes out, their headset will be way above what you're seeing on the screen. So... The first video is going to be the 1080p, just a quick flight around Moraban to show you. And the second video will be the 1440 version of it. Quick flight around it again. So let's jump over to the um, video and then once we finish on that I'll come back and we can have a chat about that. Get ourselves all organized in here. Alright, so we'll take a, hopefully it's still recording, we'll take a flight out around the airport, open to the left a bit, taxi out here onto the runway, 35 left, and we shall head off up 35 left. I hope the 
it's still recording because I can't see OBS in here. As you've seen with the 1080 on the screen, pretty much what you're seeing on the screen is what I'm seeing in the headset. And it's butter smooth. I know VR is never the best for streaming or recording because your head is moving and it's not as still as if you're doing it off the screen. But for me, it was butter smooth taking off, flying around. Again, I'm quite happy with what I'm getting in the headset because I know the 3080 is not going to give me the best quality. Nowhere near the best quality of what the headset's capable of. It looked pretty good. So what we'll do now is we'll take off and do it and I'll try and record it in 1440 and see. Okay, so now this time we're going to try the um, sim at 1440. We're sitting again at Moorabbin on the helipad. Have a look around here. Let's jump into the helicopter. At the minute we're on the 2D screen. I'm going to switch over to Pimax light. Yeah, so let's dust off here. Try and do the same flight again. We got over 35 left. Sim is running smooth in VR, the Pimax. As I say, the. Not getting the clarity that the guys at the 4090s are getting, but. That's to be expected. If this is the worst it's going to be, this is not bad on a 3080. We'll head out over car park here at DFO. We'll take a right over DFO here. Head back down towards the airport. I can see all the gauge is fine, I can see everything outside fine. Come in over Marabin Air Museum here, which is not actually here in the sim, but it should be here. It's like right here, try and come in around. Touch back down on, this time we'll do a better job hopefully, touch back down on the pad without wandering out over the runway, should be better, oh I'm coming in really hot there, 
Try and get it onto the pad. And all the high skids, I keep landing on them. Thinking the helicopter should be lower than it actually is. We should be able to get in here and it's down. So as you can see in the 1440, it's a bit clearer. I don't know what it, what it is, a bit clearer. It seems to be a bit clearer than 1080. Again, it, it's what I'm seeing in the headset. is pretty much what you're seeing on the screen. As I said, the guys of the 4090s are going to get a lot better quality in the headset. But having said that, if anybody is thinking of getting a Pimax Lite and they're running... 38 or RTX I'd go for it because it's a way above way better than the G2 I got I bought it because my G2 died so the um, HP Reva G2 was brilliant and is still brilliant if it works and you don't update from Windows 10 the G2 should keep working but the Pimax is the next level up on it you're getting the the wider field of view on it you're not getting any small little sweet spot like you have on the g2 if you move your eyes at all you're going to see the blur on the left and the right and around you don't get that with the pimax you're not getting that blur in the headset at all having said that if you have anything less than a 3080 i wouldn't advise to get the update to the Pimax light I don't think it might run it but it's not gonna run. it's gonna be under severe pressure and it's not gonna give you anything the quality like people are getting from the light in uh, 3080 and 40 series even better so hopefully this has helped a few people out there I know there's been a lot of reviews of the crystal light with the stream streamers with 4090s if I wish I had a 4090, I wish I could afford a 4090. <laughs> After paying for the Crystal Light, it's going to be a while before I afford a 40 or 50 series. But um, with the 3080, at least it runs, and it runs good, and it runs smooth. Again, summary, you're not going to get the quality that the 4090s are getting. Wouldn't expect any of us, even 4080s, even 4070s, I'd say it's probably going to get better quality than the 3080 and the Pimax. But be assured that if you have a 3080 and say a 13th gen i7 machine with at least 64 gigs of RAM on it, you're going to be able to run the Pimax Lite with 2024. What I might actually do is I might jump back into 2020 and see if it runs any better quality and runs any smoother. I've had a couple of seen a couple of streamers say it doesn't, that their 2024 is running better than 2020 in VR. So hopefully that's helped a couple of people out there. And um, if you have any questions, drop them in the comments below and I'll always get back to you. And for now, we will talk to you later bye okay so now this time we're going to try the um, sim at 1440 we're sitting again at Moraban on the helipad have a look around here Let's jump into the helicopter. At the minute we're on the 2D screen. I'm going to switch over to Pimax light. We'll cut the so that we don't crap OBS out again. I'll just check the stats on it. I can check the stats. Okay. We're not, we're missing a few skipped frames due to encoding, but not much. We'll jump over, so we'll cut the game screen.
We'll jump over into the helicopter. I'm going to turn on. Okay. And now we'll do a short flight again around and see whether this will record okay. So let's jump in here. Yeah, so let's dust off here. Try and do the same flight again. We got over 35 left. Same as running smooth in VR, the Pimax. As I say, the not getting the clarity that the guys at the 4090s are getting, but. That's to be expected. If this is the worst it's going to be, this is not bad on a 3080. We'll head out over car park here at DFO. We'll take a right over DFO here. Head back down towards the airport. I can see all the gauge is fine, I can see everything outside fine. Come in over Moraban Air Museum here, which is not actually here in the same, but it should be here. It's like right here, try and come in around. Touch back down on this time we'll do a better job hopefully. Touch back down on the pad without wandering out over the runway. Should be better. Oh, I'm coming in really hot there. Try and get it onto the pad. And all the high skids, I keep landing on them. Thinking the helicopter should be lower than it actually is. We should be able to get in here and it's down. There doesn't seem to be any stutters or anything. I can see everything, so. We'll come out of that, so that's the 1440 recording. We'll jump out of the headset and go back into 2D.